living in scarcity and living in poverty. Because imagine getting one of these assets into you know, someone's hands in a village in Haiti. Like that could be so game changing and transformative. Um, and we can make that happen very quickly. So that's really that's really the focus, like what we're trying to to build here as a community. Um, so so yeah, that's uh, the main thing that I have to share. And you know, I'd love to open up for any questions. But I, I did have a question. Um, <laughs> could you um, very quickly kind of run through the new user process experience? Let's say that somebody's never been to OpenSea, but they do have uh, Bitcoin. What do they have to do to get the wrapped F and what do they have to do to sign up in any wallet integration? How difficult is that process? Uh, okay, I, I'll do my best to, to try to walk through because my stuff is kind of already set up already. Uh, but when you're on OpenSea, you're actually gonna start off not logged in. And the main thing that you're, you want to have is um, uh, your MetaMask wallet. I think that's the very first step. So am I sharing my browser or my whole screen? I might just share my whole screen, actually. Let me swap out here. Give me one minute, guys. Make sure I'm logged in as well. OK, so I'm going to share my entire screen so that way you can see my browser. OK, let me know if I'm coming through. Um, so one thing that you should make sure you have installed in, in your web browser, and you must be using either Chrome or Brave as a, as a browser, is MetaMask. So first thing you should do is just go ahead and search for MetaMask in whatever search engine you'd like to use. Um, and go ahead and click through, and it's basically installing a um, web extension for Chrome, Brave. Oh, it looks like you can use Edge as well and Firefox. Um, so you can go ahead and install that. Once you've installed it, um, you can actually now log in. And this is basically going to act as your uh, crypto wallet where you can store specific cryptocurrencies. You can send them. You can also hold your NFTs on specific blockchains. So once you've got it installed, it's basically going to show up here on your like tray and you click on it and you can see you can attack you can connect to various uh, blockchain uh, networks so one of the biggest ones is ethereum so that's where the current auction is being uh, our current auction is being held on the ethereum mainnet and so once you have metamask installed make sure you're saving your password and make sure you save your your seed phrase it's very important to keep that protected and never give it away I also highly recommend making sure you have a password manager so that way you're keeping your passwords safe and protected and encrypted. Don't write them down in the text file because bad guys can get that very easily. Uh, but once you have MetaMask installed, then you go to OpenSea. And at OpenSea, you're going to want to log in with your wallet. So you can actually go here at the top right and choose my wallet or my profile and then log in. So you can sign in with a number of different wallets. So MetaMask is by far probably the most popular browser wallet out there, but you can see other wallets as well, including Kaikis, which we also are supporting because we are minting our NFTs on Clayton and Claycoins. Uh, but for now, you can sign in with your MetaMask wallet. So you go ahead and do that. Um, once you sign in, it actually creates your profile for you. So this is actually my profile. And you can see the NFTs that I have actually collected. It's every NFT that you have in your wallet actually shows up here right in your profile. And from here, you can already choose to you know, sell whatever item that you want. Uh, so at the same time, people can see your particular NFTs that are in a, in a collection and also place a bid on it. So you can see my board ape here as well. Like it's living in my MetaMask wallet. And so people are actually making their own bids and offers on my ape. Uh, and these are really quite low. So I'm totally not going to accept those. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, once you're, once you're logged in, now you have the ability to um, browse through different auctions and then place your own bid and purchase whatever it is you want. So you know, this is actually, a, this one is an ape made by one of our volunteers, uh, Antoine. Uh, who's an amazing individual here. 
And so once you've done that, you can actually go ahead and place your bid and accept over here. So what's interesting is that there are different currencies they can potentially pay for specific options. Um, the options that we're doing, you're going to be paying in WEATH, which is, stands for Wrapped Ethereum. So Ethereum is like the main blockchain and Ether is the main cryptocurrency. But when it comes to making auctions in uh, OpenSea, there is a concept of a wrapped coin, which is, it's like, <laughs> I don't know how to even describe it. Uh, but basically, like, it is the same value as Ethereum, but it is wrapped in a different smart contract uh, to enable cheaper transactions. Because every time you're, you're spending and transaction on Ethereum, you have to pay gas fees, and gas fees are extremely high right now. So this is why we are not building on Ethereum. We're actually building on Clayton and Polygon and uh, Koi because the, uh, the fees on Ethereum are just like insane. Um, there are plans for Ethereum to upgrade to 2.0 or they're shifting to proof of stake and sharding, which will dramatically bring down those costs. But currently it's just really not built to scale. So when as we are minting our NFTs and eventually going into our auctions, we're going to be shifting over to using um, and hopefully crossing fingers, Ethereum does flip over to prove mistake and becomes more scalable. But it's probably going to happen, I'm guessing, mid to late next year. That's my, that's my take right now. Yeah, some are at the earliest I've, I've read. Yeah. So are, we was, actually, are they even at 1.5 yet, officially? Um, I, I don't really, I don't know. I haven't like closely paid attention to their exact. Uh, you know, weirdly enough, this does not seem to be swapping. It's still pending. Um, but either way, maybe I, I won't finish this entire transaction. But that's it. Most of, for the most part, is going to, oh, perfect. It's going to walk you through. Uh, this process. So now I have the Ethereum wrapped to ETH, and kabam! I have now submitted my bid. So what happens when you place the bid? The actual seller has the opportunity to accept the bid, to counter it, or to wait because um, since it is an auction, we're still you know seeing who else is interested in making a purchase. So let's see if somebody actually outbids me on this and decides to spend more than $33 on this particular NFT. So but you won't see your second gas fee until it's accepted, correct? Yes, that's correct. So, so yeah, that's the, uh, that's the 